Hey guys, I'm Rob Richards, and on today's video for supplementsworld.com, I'll be taking a look at a few variations to train the posterior, the rear deltoid of the shoulder. If you're interested in finding out more information about shoulder training in general, be sure to check out my full shoulder workout and article over at supplementsworld.com. Okay, the anterior deltoid. Typically, when we think of shoulders, we think about the usual overhead press, maybe one or two lateral type raises. But this actually leaves out a lot of the anterior and posterior deltoid. Now, the front deltoid gets worked a lot in many chest exercises and arm exercises, but what about the back deltoid? Well, this typically gets worked when we raise the arm behind our body. But which exercises really target that rear deltoid? Well, one of my favorite exercises to perform is the bent over rear dumbbell flies. To perform this exercise, don't go too heavy. In fact, drop the weight down that you might normally perform for the lateral raise. And once you're in a bent over position, and by this, I mean similar to performing a bent over barbell row. The knees are soft, hips are pushed back, your back is straight, and your upper torso is almost parallel to the floor. Now with a slight bend in the elbows, focus on contracting and squeezing your shoulder blades together. As you open out the arms, elbows meeting that same plane as your back, focus one more time on squeezing and engaging those rear deltoids, pretty much where the shoulder blades are, and then resist the weight back down until they're almost, arms are hanging, but don't allow the weights to touch. This is important as it keeps that tension firmly on the rear deltoid and doesn't allow other muscle groups such as the triceps to come into play. Another great way to perform this if you're not too sure about performing it in a bent over position is pronated on a bench. This means performing it face down on a slight incline and for this, much of that same execution is involved except you don't need to stabilize the core because you're resting on the bench. Just be sure that as you raise those arms up, you are consciously squeezing and engaging the shoulder blades at the top of the movement. Another great variation of the bent over rear delt raise is performing it with cables, either as a single arm bent over cable raise or standing performing both arms at the same time. This gives a unique advantage over performing it with dumbbells because A, you've got a constant amount of tension placed on the muscle throughout the entire range of motion and two, it enables you to work through many different angles than simply just performing it with dumbbells. So my suggestion would be use both. Start with dumbbells, and even though you think it's the same exercise, especially by performing those standing rear delt cable flies, you're working it from an opposite angle, putting that weight downwards as opposed to being vertically over the weight. All of this works towards stressing and training that muscle from a variety of different angles and ranges of motion, which is key for overall development, especially if you're looking at competing or you want some photos and you really want to display great separation between the heads, the triceps, and the shoulder in general. When it comes to training the shoulders, the front and the lateral deltoid heads get trained a lot in many different exercises, but it's the rear deltoids that often get left behind. My recommendation would be to start with your shoulder routine and hit all of the overhead presses first. And then before you start with many of the typical lateral and even front raises, focus a couple of exercises on the rear deltoids. Pick no more than two different exercises, two to three sets of each exercise, and with great technique and form, aim upwards of 10, 12, and even 15 repetitions or higher, focusing on that contraction, the squeezing, and putting those shoulder blades together. This approach, along with using many of the other training principles such as strip sets, drop sets, supersets, triceps, and match much of the symmetry and proportion that the lateral and the front deltoid give the shoulder. For information on more of these shoulder exercises and many other workouts, you'll find all of these at supplementsworld.com. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Rob Richards, until next time, stay motivated, keep training hard, and I'll see you soon. Take care.